Derek, come on, let's go, bud. Come on, we're, bu man. we're burning daylight here. We're burning daylight. Don't rush a chef. Really? Because that, that thing's gonna come down, so you better do uh, it before. Hey, Martini, Linguini, Martini. What? what? Why are you dressed like that? What do you mean? Why am I dressed like this? I don't know. Oh, shit, I'm just, I'm just, uh, why do you? Why is your accent? Wait. Wait. Why is your accent changing? How do you say jazz ball in Italian? Just a cinquenta, quinta, barenta. That's not how you say. Just a barenta. Just open your mouth and get ready for it. Ready? Okay. okay ready? And. Well, what? As you told me last night, I was ready for that. Hey, I do ninety five. Hey, just a little bit twinky. This is my new role. I'm, Why are you? I'm not, I'm, not a YouTube, I'm not making YouTube videos anymore. Are you serious? Yeah. What brought this along? When I got the Rosani. Rosani. <laughs> you can't even say it. Panini. When I got, when I, Panini. When I got the Rosanna Pancino Nerdy Nummies cookbook, my life changed for the better. I mean, I'm a new man. I don't even want to make videos anymore. All I want to do is cook. Do you want to taste one of my dishes? It's a. Yeah. Ew, what are you doing? Ah! Is that good? That's disgusting. And it makes you want to rip out your tongue. Well, no. you're gonna want to rip out your tongue after you shove it in my stop dish that I made for you. You're disgusting. Hold on, let me let me cook this up real quick, okay? Ready, uh... Oh yeah, right there. Oh, oh, that's a good. I'm cooking over here. Yeah. That is that is that is not a good. You gotta you gotta push the button before the. Oh. You're ready. I got you a nice dish here. Oh, the world's ruining just, the my world just, restaurant. The world just ended because you were, you're a chef. All right, Jazz Paul. So I got the house special. And it's got $95 off for you on this one. So it's um, only $100. Hold on. hold on. You made this? Yes. I'm, did you not hear me making the thing in the chef house? Oh, yeah. I heard you doing something, but it wasn't cooking. And this um, looks a bit bland, doesn't it? I don't mean bland. It means. It's oh, it means. Well, it looks bland. Oh, okay. Let me just get my signature. You guys have seen salt made before, but have you seen salt fart? Are you kidding me? You gotta fart and put the salt on at the same time. Do you not smell it? Oh my god, Darren! I said it was bland, I'm adding flavor! There you go! Oh, you completely missed the plate, and you got all this! <laughs> Look That's at that! Right. You save that for later, okay? Great, all over your bed now, too. Take a bite and tell me what you think, okay? Are you serious right now? You don't insult the chef. You kiss the chef, or you eat his food! It's your choice, Jasper! Alright, um, guys, Derek has officially lost his goddamn mind. What do you mean? This is not food! You didn't even make this! And first of all, you put salt on top of the wrapper! I'm not gonna eat the wrapper! You always say that our relationship isn't, you know, enough give and take. I'm trying to give to you for once. I make you a nice meal and you sh** all over it as if it's nothing. How long it took me to make this? Dude. I had to make and produce the wrapper. I didn't buy this from the store. You did not yeah, produce you, the wrapper. You went screw you, Jasper. I'm gonna eat this by myself with my little friend that I have over here that you heard me talking to before. What the hell is wrong? Ah! Mm. Mm. Dick, that was, you don't know what you're doing, okay? You have no idea how to cook. You don't even have the right utensils. You just stop! I don't know what. You don't know how to cook. You don't have the right utensils. If you really okay, seriously, if you want to be a, a professional chef, I'll help you out. I'll get you some utensils. You'll get me some utensils. Yes. You don't even know what you're doing, dude. I know exactly what I'm doing. You know what? No, I I'm trained get... with the greatest chefs in Paris. Well, you know what? I know how what to get for the correct tools. What? Because I studied the ancient artifacts, Jazz Paul. Don't you dare! The ancient artifacts. I know what the ancient artifacts. No. You weren't welcome to the ancient artifacts. They're not even really a dish. <laughs> yeah, they are. They clearly can't decide on what we should do. The only person that knows everything about everything is. Right? You know who that is? God. <laughs> what? No, we just said that you can't do it. Oh yeah, so D squad. Yeah, there you go. <laughs> Today we are going to be buying five crazy random wish.com cooking gadgets. Me and Jasper are both gonna pick five each because we can't decide on what's better. So you guys will decide on Instagram with a story poll. Whichever one of you guys vote for, we are gonna buy, buy, buy. And we're, I'm gonna be a better chef. Jazz won't become somewhat of a chef because he can't even cook. Like, he doesn't even know how to turn on his own oven. That's what just his because his I. His sister told me he doesn't know how to turn on the oven. Dude, I just say that because I don't want them to know my true identity. Your true identity? I used to be the greatest chef in all of the world. What was your chef name? Huh? What was your name? He who shall not be named. That's a stupid fing name. No, it's not. Because you know why? The ancient artifact. Oh my. <laughs> did not want me to unveil. <laughs> I haven't had one of these in a while, and I'm going to win today's challenge because I'm going to pick better things than you. I'm going to drink my juice box. Hashtag President's Choice. Don't know why Canada has President's Choice because uh, we don't have a president, but sponsor me. All right, so my very first item is something very important if you are a juice box connoisseur like myself. This one's actually is grapple. You know, grape apple. <laughs> but I definitely recommend the grapple juice. But the thing is, look at this, guys. I'm all around the table, and if I want to put it in a cup holder, there's no... See, Jasper always thinks I'm gonna make a mess, but I know what I'm doing, guys. I can probably flip this. Stop! Way. Don't, Derek, please, please don't. I need a cup holder. So, my first item is right here. The one-piece table office supplies clip drink cup cup holder, best lamp holder holder. <gasps> With over 
1,100 reviews. Does yours have that, Jazz Paul? 1,100. Well, you know what, Derek? I would tell you if I remembered. <laughs> I don't even know how many this comes with. It doesn't let you pick a color, which is always nice. Hopefully, it comes with a bunch of them. But um, you can see this person's got a gator. That does not fit. It's like about to fall and break off the table. That definitely is about But I mean, the, you want a nest tea bottle upside down? I mean, I've always wanted that. Especially take the lid off. You know, you have a nice water fountain going on all over Jazz Paul's kitchen. And then he has to clean it up in a little French maid outfit that I bought him that he never wears for some reason. Well, because you're wearing it right now. No. Well, that one I bought you is a lot more sexy than this, I can tell you that. Oh my uh, god. I do not know which one it comes with because, again, there's no color option. Uh, but you got some good. is my first item that is going up in round number one. Jazz Paul, what's your first item, buddy? Let me find it here first. My okay. Do you remember what it is? Well, if you open it up, then I would. <laughs> All right, here we go with Jazz Paul's first item. Look at that, see? Isn't that smart? It's a random color ice cube tray, <laughs> mold makes shot glass, ice mold, novelty gifts, ice tray, summer drinking, tool glass mold. Listen, in the summertime, it gets really, really hot and you gotta cool in your hands somehow. So why not do it two in one where you're drinking and you're cooling your hand down at the same time? Glasses oh, get warm. Ice will never get warm. It just stays ice, cold. Ice will never get Yeah. It's just... Can we quote that? Put that in the dictionary under f***ing dumbass? <laughs> no. Ice will never get warm. Obviously not. How long do you expect me to hold this for? Well, when the drink's finished. What if it melts? You f***ing tart. It's your fault. You should Drink the faster. I like how they don't want to like go through the effort of letting you choose the color. So they're like, we're gonna give you a random color. What do you mean choose a color? It's ice. The tray, you dumb. It's different colors of tray. You're not gonna use the tray. I'm just gonna use it for the ice. It doesn't matter what color it is. Oh God, we don't care. We don't discriminate against the color. So this is your first item. This is what you're picking. Exactly. Yeah, I can tell exactly. Only 16 reviews. Mine had 1,100. Do you think the D Squad's gonna vote for it's this? It's not about quantity. It's about quality. Mine has more better reviews. There's not even a one yeah. review. Becky didn't review this. Becky stabbed you in the freaking backy. Wouldn't be the first time. Exactly. Who drinks, a, who drinks a shot glass with a straw? That's my one of my questions. Uh, people who have elegance and grace and aren't vile creatures who always want to attack people. Ah! All right, so let's see. We put up this poll. We put up the poll for the shot glass. Stop <laughs> that! What? I don't want to see your nibs. Man. I'm not doing. This is what went up on the Instagram. Shot glass versus cup holder. What do you guys think is going to win? If you do not get in on this this time, be sure to follow both of our Instagrams and be looking at our stories so you can be in on the vote next time. Let's check the results, baby. Really, I'm pulling through that cup holder because I can literally pull it right here and have a cup holder at all times. And the results are 65% of the D squad voted for the shot glass ball for Jazz Paul's thing that he picked. I just will never get warm. They just feel bad for you, Jazz Paul. No. Yeah, what do you mean? All right, so that's the first item. We're going to add that to cart. And that is our very first item for this video. $7, $3 shipping, $10 for a freaking ice cube mold that I could probably make. I can you, make you, this you, at You home. just got like, what, four shot glasses for $10. Jazz Paul, they're ice. It's water. You don't get to keep the shot glass afterwards. It melts. You get to have unlimited amount, actually. So you can make as many shot glasses as you want. So in reality, you just made a million dollars. That's put that in the dumbest thing he's ever said in your entire life. <laughs> Round number two, there's no possible way I will not win this because this is one of the coolest things I have ever seen. This is the Boom Kitchen. I stopped, I didn't know how to read for a second. Kitchen <laughs> red stainless steel twister potato spiral french fry fruit. Fruit. What the hell is the word fruit in there? What's a potato? It's a vegetable. It's a potato. Yeah. Yeah. Just like your brain, a f***ing potato. It's a cutter, kitchen, tools, and gadgets. This is what you use to make hurricane potatoes. If you guys are from Vancouver and you've ever been to the night market, this is one of the most popular things there. You know, you get the potatoes, you spiral them out like a freaking It makes that noise too, that machine, it goes I've never time. had that. Yeah, because you don't have culture, Jazz Paul. All you eat is Big Macs and freaking Whoppers and you just have fast food. You don't have any culture inside of you. Yeah, Your mom makes you a nice curry dinner, you throw it in the garbage. And you say, curry in a hurry? Yeah, hurry out of my ass. <laughs> You said that to your mom. I wonder if she likes me better. Mom doesn't like you better. Yeah, she does. She doesn't. Prove it in the last video. <gasps> oh, I'm so sorry. What the hell? Five seconds only. What else? What can you do in five seconds? There's literally nothing I can do in five seconds. Everything takes like 10. And another reason why this is so good, originally $215 with a thousand ratings. I always pick things that have good ratings, guys. Any good ones? Crystal says it's great. Just the size I wanted. It works great for apples too. For making apple pie. So that is the one we have up for the poll for this one for me. Going over to Jazz Paul's now. Jazz Paul has this right here. The stainless. 
Is that a motorized? Why would you need a motor attached to a whisk? Derek, are you that? You not, are you that lazy? I'm not lazy. It's called having cramps. You know, you cramp up. What can you do? How often are you using you gotta your feed wrist? The it's just this motion. Listen, it's a backup, all right? What do you mean wrist? I cook a lot. I've been in the situations where oh I've been under a lot of pressure, and, 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 and it's hurt. I've what? broken wrists. Really? Yes, I have. And I needed something like this. It didn't exist back then. Yeah, back then in another life that you've never lived before because you don't Dude, cook, Jazz I've been Ball. a part of the ways for a long, oh long time. God, I can't take this anymore, Jazz It's Ball. not my fault, Derek. What do you want me to do? I want you to start telling the truth. I am telling you the truth. Oh it's my not God. my fault. You're they, not... They they don't, they, no one trusts okay, you with well, the what? ancient ways. <laughs> When you start whisking, right, in a long period of time, your wrist is gonna start hurting eventually. And if you keep doing it, you're gonna aggravate to the point where you can't even feel your wrist anymore. How you're gonna have to lose your hand. Once you lose your hand, what can you cook with? Nothing. You know how hard it is to cook with nothing? Is it possible? So you need to have an electronic whisk just so you can have a little bit of rest while you're prepping for something else. Why don't you get motorized everything? Motorized spatula, motorized freaking meat tenderizer. Because you don't wanna let go of the ancient ways. Oh. Over 2,000 reviews. But let's see if the D Squad review it on the Instagram story, guys. Okay, come on, potato cutter. I think this would be dope for a video. See, that's what I'm thinking about coolness for the video. You're thinking about selfishness. Just, oh, I want to rest my wrist. Last time, Jazz Ball won 65%. Let's see what they voted for. This time, 76% Hurricane Potato Cutter. What? 24% said the other one, Jazz. 24, a measly 24. Wow, congratulations, D Squad. You're gonna lose half your hand. I hope you guys can learn how to do it with your left hand or you, right hand. Were you promising to buy one for everybody in the D Squad? No, I was trying to explain to them just so you survive. If you want to be able to cook for a long period of time, you have to use something like that. Otherwise, you're gonna burn out quickly. Oh, yes, Daddy. There's nothing I'm gonna burn out when I'm burning these potatoes in my nice new hurricane potato cutter. Maybe throw some zucchinis on there. Maybe, you know, some carrots. Something healthy. Well, you don't, don't care about that. I do care. You don't understand, Derek. I've lost people. To whisks? Old school whisks, yes. <laughs> my boy, Jimpenzo. <laughs> yeah, you, you remember him? Jimpenzo. You're sick. Is there Jimpenzo 95? No. Well, well, now there's gonna be after I said that, probably. So this next thing I got, the whole thing about me is I don't about culture and, you know, getting to different areas of the planet. You know, we've been to Vancouver for the hurricane potatoes. What's the first thing I got again? The cup holder. You know, we've been to, probably made in China, probably made in China. We've been to China for the cup holder and now we're going all the way to Japan for some sushi. Not only any sushi, a freaking sushi bazooka. That is right, ladies and gentlemen, the sushi maker tool roll meat vegetables bazooka and a lot of other words I'm too lazy to say right now because my voice is slowly going away. This is a literal bazooka. Look at this sushi coming out. It looks just like a nice white poop coming out of a ripe bum, but it's gonna be nice, yummy sushi. I mean, it kind of looks like a sex toy if I'm gonna be honest, but at the end of the day, all that matters is this what you're gonna have at the end of the day right there, sushi! I'm not a huge fan of sushi. I'm not really like sushi. Have you ever had sushi? Yeah, yeah. What, what did you have, California roll? I don't like it when it's cold. I like it warm. I can say that for a lot of different things in my life, Jazz Ball. Only $10 for this amazing tool that could definitely be millions of videos. We could make a video trying different kinds of sushi. We could do a Dare Paul cooking show again because that's clearly dead. Been dead for a while. Not it, dead. When's the last time you cooked anything in Dude, your life? Dude, season one ended. Now we're on season two. See, look, that's my season two getting confirmed right now. <laughs> That's your side chick, isn't you it? You and I both know. I'm I, a side chick. I, I, have, I knew it. I knew I'm a side you chick. You and I both know I have no chicks. All right, so that is my first one. The mold tube roller cushion kicking. What's your name in Italian again? Genmenzo Twingy. <laughs> All right, Jazz Paul's next one is right here. Are you ready to explain? Yes, sir. It is a heart egg poacher. Not a poacher, Jazz Paul. That's Shaper, that's what I said. <laughs> Because, Derek, we need to spend more love in the world, okay? We're at a time right now where love needs to win. And hate cannot win anymore. This is not gonna help our restaurant business. Yes, it will. Saying what, we have heart-shaped eggs, everybody! Yes, you know why? Because people will come in and be like, wow, these guys actually care. They care about humanity, and they care about love being able to be spread throughout the whole world. This wins, love really does exist. Well, first of all, steel heart shaper mold mold. They literally could not decide which one to say. Yeah, mold mold because they have to destroy the actual disgusting mold with this heart shaped mold. Your mold on my life. It's a, it's a message between a message. Very happy with the product. Well worth the price. Children children love them. Exactly. You mean chil children are our future. No, this is what you're gonna pick. If we're open up a restaurant, do you want this to be one of our utensils? You can already see the egg is leaking out of the side. It doesn't even work properly. The next items we have: the egg or the sushi bazooka. This is literally called. A sushi bazooka, yes. Yeah, bazooka meaning enemy. Meaning I'm gonna bazooka a sushi roll right into your mouth and boom, and <coughs> right into your mouth, and you're yeah, gonna eat and it. Yeah, they can choke on that. That's something. Okay, hopefully nice. you choke and freaking die. All right, so let's see what's gonna win: the sushi bazooka <laughs> or the egg. If, if the D Squad vote for the egg, this will be the most time I've ever been disappointed in the D Squad because that is actually stupid. Okay, here we go. Ha! That is 
way closer than it should be. It's only 59% for the bazooka. 41% for the egg. Are it's alright. It's alright. Love will win in the end. No, it won't. Yes, it will. Only 59%. Who wants this stupid egg mold? Alright, so we're adding the sushi maker tool to our cart. It's gonna be five amazing kitchen gas we're gonna open up for you guys. Only 50 bucks so far. Not bad. Let's move on to the next round. Next round, Jazz Paul. What is the biggest pain in the ass you have ever had while eating? Sitting down. I hate sitting down when I eat. You're the wrong person for me to ever ask you for a freaking question. <laughs> Sitting down when you eat, that's what you hate? You stand up when you eat every time? It hurts. What if you're at a family dinner? The one guy standing at the end of the table is like, hi, Becky, what's up? No. The worst thing is eating a corn on the cob. It's really? messy, it gets all over the place, your hands get all greasy. So I have gone some. Would you ever eat corn on the cob? Not really, no. Just shove them in your ass. I have solved the issue of corn on the cob eating for the rest of your lives with this tool. This is the new corn threshing stripping round corn strip. Oh, stripper. <laughs> This is the kitchen utensil. This will literally take all of the little corn niblets off the corn and have them ready for you to eat in a little tray. It looks kind of dangerous, so don't give this to your kids. It has some blades in there. You wouldn't want to accidentally shove... Now that I look at it, it kind of looks like... That looks really violent. But at the end of the day, it's worth it because you're getting a corn. But how often do you eat corn? So, oh my god. Like corn on the cob. <laughs> looks good, now I need to buy some corn on the cob to try... <laughs> Steven Ward. He bought it. He's like, I don't want to have this in my house. You gotta buy some corn now. <laughs> Angela says it works great, perfect for getting the corn off the cob for the kids. And that's I'm all about the kids, guys. The, you know, our, the, the kids are the future. You gotta cater to the kids. Get that corn off the cob. All right, Jazz Ball. So the one that you got for this round, the second last round is. Badoo! Exactly. See that? You know how hard it is to deal with your teeth biting into the green part of the watermelon? I just asked you what the biggest pain in the ass was and you said sitting down. Yeah. So why didn't you say eating watermelon? Watermelon is a pain in the ass, but sitting down is way worse. You need to freaking check out your ass, buddy. I think there's something I'm sorry, wrong okay? This is originally $32. Only nine people reviewed this. So what is this? Okay, so you know when you're cutting- <laughs> I didn't even know. <laughs> Okay, so when you're cutting a watermelon, right, you have to cut the watermelon in half, but it's kind of difficult to cut it with a massive knife. It's, it, it's, it's a lot of work. This thing will easily take out the watermelon part and take out the- what's the green part? I don't know what the green part is. Let's just call it the shell. So the shell, it, it sucks too when you have to, to separate the shell and the watermelon. So I figured, why not get this to easily remove it without anyone getting hurt? This is literally two knives. This is a pair of tongs. Why do you need to pay $12? You just go to the dollar store and get a pair of tongs. You don't need to buy the watermelon no, ones. these are watermelon design tongs. What the hell is cucumis, Jazzball? You don't know what cucumis melon is? No. Wow. I'm not gonna tell you because oh I- Because you don't even know either. I do know. $12 for a freaking pair of tongs. This is ridiculous. Yeah, it's perfect. I like how they show it as getting these nice freaking slices of watermelon. But when they show the actual demo, this is what comes out. Uh, simply because they want to ration it. Maybe in that picture, they're trying to show that you can ration it. You don't have to get big pieces all the time. There's little kids that eat this too, Derek, all right? A little baby can't eat a whole watermelon piece. Think of the youth. I do think of the kids. Think I of every kids. kid, not just one kid. Oh, yes, daddy. All right, so let's see which wins this round. Oh, I got six. We got the corn cutter or the watermelon. Leave it in the comments down below, guys. Which one would you rather have in your household? What, what, what would make more sense for you? Are you guys eat more corn or do you eat more watermelon? We're gonna see what the D Squad decided on my Instagram account. Here we go. Cutie Intense wants to be a millionaire in music. Dun, 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 dun. Okay, I, I don't know. That's not your. That's the wrong one. That's the wrong one. The winner by a close battle. 53% of the vote goes to. Oh, damn. Stupid f***ing watermelon. Yes! God damn it. See? I knew it! One by three percent. Yeah, but everyone has these problems. This will save people's lives. It will not! Yes, it will. Just like the wisp was gonna save people's lives? Yeah, it was gonna save the risk. Now this is gonna save their, their strength. Last round, I... You know what? When me and Jazz will open up our restaurant, there's something very important. We're not gonna be like everybody else. You know, we're gonna have apparently really nice slices of watermelon. We're gonna have nice potatoes. But I wanna have some food... Art. Because I am an artist. I, if you guys haven't seen, I uh, designed this painting myself. I painted it myself. I know it looks like it was printed off from a printer, but I actually painted that myself. Um, I called it the um, At Jazzis Seduis 95 -ist. So my last pick that I know you guys will pick this one because it is so cool is this. The high quality potato, cucumber, carrot, grater, julienne, peeler, vegetables, fruit peeler, double peeling, grater, kitchen. <sighs> That literally seems like the most pointless thing I've ever seen in my life. Gadget! It's not pointless. What do you mean pointless? Why would you need to make designs out of a carrot? Jasper, carrots aren't very good. But when it looks like this, you want to eat it no matter what no, it is. Don't. It if it looks like that, it's art. It's Talk about that. love in the world, Derek. Oh and no one's going to want to destroy Look someone's artwork. It looks, it's like a, pe it's like a, glo it's basically, this is basically a pencil sharpener attached to a stick. But at the end of the day, you're going to have nice artwork that is going to make people want your carrots. We're going to have an entire item on the menu that is just carrots. No. Why are you doing that to your wrist? Doing what? What are you doing? feeling you're, it now. 
hurt. Me. What? Hurt. Is it because you've been whisking all night? Like, what are you trying to say? You know what, Derek? I was trying to surprise you with a perfect cake. But you know what? You, it doesn't seem like you don't care. You seem like you don't care. Maybe I want to well, surprise you with a cake. You don't want to care. This is Jazz Paul's last item. Let's find it here. Is this your best item? Obviously. I am a lover of sandwiches. We're not serving sandwiches on. I love sandwiches. Sandwiches are the backbone of this nation. Without sandwiches, we'd all die. Sandwiches have saved so many people's lives. It's given hope, and you know what? I figured why not just spice the sandwich up a little bit. Let's put some designs in there. Let's put a dolphin, a heart, and any other shape you want to put in there. If you want to put a butterfly in there, why not? This doesn't look like a butterfly at all. It looks like somebody tried to cut a sandwich but didn't know what they were doing. Yeah, to the naked eye, who don't have any soul, have no love in their life, they don't think it's a butterfly. But the people who have hope and, and have dreams and want to fight for their happiness, they see the butterfly. This this is your last item? Obviously, yes. A, a sandwich cutter. Yes. What do you gonna do with the crust? You just waste the crust? No, the crust you give to the birds to eat outside. They need some food too, and they love having crust. You know, actually, if you give birds bread, it puffs up in their stomach and it kills them. No, you give the crust and you give them little pieces. Any ratings on this one? My two-year-old son loved sandwich, cut it up into a puzzle, had so much fun putting it together. That is the dumbest thing I've ever heard. If I was a kid. It's the most my, beautiful thing I've ever heard. If my mom gave me this in my lunch, I'm like, mom, I just want a normal sandwich. Why are you making it so difficult for me to eat? You know why? Because you hate everything. Yeah, I wonder your mom likes me more. You stop bringing that up. Well, actually, at least my mom has some love in her heart, unlike yours. What? I have love in my heart? Your mom? Oh, she f***ing hates me. Yes. <laughs> okay, so Jazz Paul's last item he has decided will be... This. This is so dumb. This is a little kid's dream, but you're 23 years old. I'm 20 it's all about the kids! I'm actually 20, 22. So we're going to my story. We're gonna see what was picked, the carrot cutter or the sandwich. I think it's the carrots. I mean, I, on, actually, you know what? I think the D squad will know that this was you, the sandwich thing, and they're gonna feel bad and pick the sandwich. Okay, here we go. <laughs> Wait, did you see if I read that correctly? By a vote of 51 to 49, the winner is... The carrot cutter, baby! That's what I'm talking about! D squad knows what's up. They don't want to see a stupid sandwich. They want to see a carrot in the shape of a flower. You know what, Derek? That's okay. Knowing the fact that 49% of the world the has, world has <laughs> love in their life. The world is the D squad. That's 49%. I'm not of lying. I, I took a screenshot. They're close. It's, it was a close battle. But Either finally, way, it's a win-win, I think, because this is beautiful art. You just you were just shitting on it five seconds ago saying, why would you want carrots yeah. that are art? Well, it's the art. For art is the heart. Art is the art. Heart I'm is love. Salt I'm gonna fart. Boom! <laughs> So you guys voted for the ice shot glasses, the hurricane potato cutter, the sushi bazooka, the watermelon color, and the carrot cutter. We're gonna have a nice fruit medley with some sushi, some potatoes. Who won? Two of your things got picked and three of mine got picked. So at the end of the day, Derek wins this by challenge. Cha-ching, throw that on the screen. It wasn't right supposed to be a challenge, okay? It's supposed to be encouraging you to be better. Stop. Now you're just being mean. So the order has been confirmed. We are gonna get all that cooking stuff in a video and test it for you guys. So if you guys want to see that, be sure to subscribe and join the D Squad. I know I've been saying this so many times, but merch is finally gonna happen within a month, guys. If there's no merch within a month available for you guys to buy, you can unfollow at Derek underscore Gerard. You better stay following at Jazz295. We will see you guys in that video when it comes out when we're opening all of this stuff. If you enjoyed it again, be sure to kick that like button down below. Turn on your bell notification so you know every single video comes out. Um, go subscribe to Jazz Paul's channel. Links in the description. I mean, <laughs> we'll see you all in the next one. Have a fantastic day. Always remember the motto of do good, die great, and we'll see you very soon. All right, see ya. <gasps>